I'm Laura Nieder. I'm a treatment manager at Devereaux, and I've been here for 14 and a half years. I'm Chris Cormican. I work at Devereaux, and I've been here for six and a half years. The population that I work with in my program are actually the youngest on campus. My youngest is seven. My oldest is going to be 16. Um, all of them are diagnosed um, on the autism spectrum. We have some kids who are functionally verbal, who can talk to you and tell you how they feel. Um, we have other kids who are completely nonverbal and pretty much a range in between that. Like I have one client that can't speak at all and like if he wants something, you know, he'll, he'll come up to us, he'll hand us the book and he'll, he'll show us a picture of I want and what he wants. A lot of them are dealing with challenging behaviors that really um, keep them in residential placement versus being at home with their families. A typical day for me at Devereaux is coming in at 2 o'clock. Um, I get my unit prepared. I get my supplies that I need to get my kids ready for once they get back at school. At about 3 o'clock, I go pick up my kids from school. And then we come back, and usually we have group, ask them how their day was, ask them what they did. After that, I normally get the guys prepared in fun activities like uh, music or doing puzzles or doing board games. We do phone calls that, that during that time, which is getting them to call their parents, engaging with the parents as well. You do see progress being made in the skill sets that they're, that they're working towards, having positive discharges where individuals get to go home to their families or less restrictive settings is really exciting to see and to know that I'm a part of that um, by working with them every day really matters. My goal at Devereaux is to make the kids that I work with happy, to feel wanted, to feel like somebody's there, somebody's listening, somebody cares. To work at Devereaux, you really need to be a compassionate individual. At Devereaux, you need patience, flexibility. You know, the kids can be very challenging. You know, we have kids who have a very low skill set. Um, so being able to teach them simple things like being able to wash their hands or safely cross the street can be a challenge for them. A task that they may have learned last week, you know, when you were here, they may not be able to, you know, repeat the same task today. Dealing with some of their behaviors can be challenging mentally and physically. Kids with autism at times can get pretty intense. It's not always easy to stay calm in these situations, but I know it's important not to react in a negative way. You can't take it personally when you get yelled at, grabbed, threatened, or called names. Some of them can say some pretty terrible things. But I know the calmer I am, the calmer the individual will be, and the better I'll be able to defuse the situation. One of the more frustrating things is when I give a direction and the child doesn't listen or do what's expected. Things don't always go as planned, so teamwork, patience, and consistency in our programs and services are really important. When one of my individuals engages in physically unsafe behavior, like hitting someone else, or me, or hurting himself, I need to rely on the skills and techniques I've been trained to use. In these situations, it's important for me to observe and assess what's going on so I can best determine my course of action. When I have to intervene, verbally or physically, the goal is to always assist the individual to be safe and feel safe. I think that Devereaux really offers its employees the ability to grow um, and the ability to, to be well supported in their current role even if that's where they want to stay. I've been at Devereaux for six and a half years and the reason why I've stayed here is I've never felt unappreciated. I didn't feel like anybody wasn't listening to what I was saying. I do feel like I'm making a positive impact on, on the individuals that I work with. You know, to first of all, come in every day and have them eager to see you really lets me know that um, I'm doing something right. Um, they're happy to see me, I'm happy to see them. And to be able to see them do that, to be able to see them go home, and to be able to then hear the parents say, I don't, I don't know what you did, but whatever you did, you know, it, it made a difference and I appreciate it. That's why I work at Devereaux.